Okay, good morning everybody. Okay, let me look around a little bit. Okay. Okay, I want to know um, how many people here the first day when I start the meditation group at the basement. I can see one person. You First day? First time? Okay. Okay. Today, today for your first time, right? Okay, today your first. I'm asking the first time, first time, 17 years ago, first time when I start the meditation. I know Bill. I think I came on the second day. Second day. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's Nancy. Is that Dean? Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Okay, so now we have a um, couple of people. So I, I have a question for those people, maybe, you know, after a few days you came, you know, for, you know, 17 years ago. <laughs> How many times you heard this 17 years I was talking about loving kindness or talking about, you know, the guiding loving kindness meditation? 17 years, 17 years right? <laughs> so, you know, now that some people came, uh, come into the, medi- you know, the meditation maybe 10 to 12 years, uh, uh, 7, 8 years, 5, 6 years, you know, all the time when you come to the temple, you hear that. Same song, <laughs> right? Practicing loving kindness. I'm, you know, I'm, I was thinking, maybe sometimes people are tired with the loving kindness. <laughs> maybe sometimes you are tired with compassion. Talking about, listening to compassion. Maybe tired, exhausted. Now there is no excitement about loving kindness anymore. I love it if you don't have excitement about loving kindness anymore. That means you are in the right place. Right? If you are excited about loving kindness, that's not loving kindness anymore. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's a whole other thing I can talk. Uh, <laughs> so then um, we talk about all the time, last 17 years, loving kindness. We talk about compassion. What else we talk about? Mindfulness. What else? Walking your own path. Huh? Okay, walking your own path. Impermanence. Staying in the moment, doing it daily. Okay, we talk about it. So, after we years and talking about those things, do you see any progress? I hope so. Hope so. <laughs> you know, I hope so means a different statement, right? Um, in you, in you, you are the world. Okay, so. I'm going to track it. I'm going to track it. That's, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have a, you know, idea, you know, I have certain things to talk today. So I want to see how you feel now. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah, I understand. My question is, do you feel that practice getting better? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely better. Okay, good. So, when I listen to the Dharma talks, I go to lots of church services. When I go to the church services, and sometimes they invite me for the morning service, so, for a sermon or talk or whatever word they use. Um, so, I always, whatever we talk here, loving kindness, compassion, all those things, those religious or spiritual people, centers, they are talking to. Then I go to so many yoga retreats, yoga people, Jason, right? And so, yoga people also talking about all those things we are discussed which is wonderful. I can see those teaching are basic, universal, spiritual guidance. (laughs) Those are my words. You know, any religious background, any spiritual seekers, 
any spiritual traditions when i am uh, reading uh, i love uh, sufi 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 stories you heard the sufi stories i love you know even that um, coming from that middle eastern part of the world they are talking about those things uh, i was studying um, native indian uh, rituals when i was in the school you know in the different ways they are talking about those things and jesus talk about them. Muhammad talk about this and so everybody you know embracing those kind of teaching loving kindness compassion um balance is another big word here in the society you know you know those things we, we talk about that so i realize you know the buddha also adapted those things now we have um in the buddhist teaching we call uh, four sublime stages you know the uh, you know become sublime those things we have to follow so i can see the buddha all other religious and spiritual leaders walking hand together can walk the same direction we all go walk together after we walk into the end i am just making the story then all the spiritual leaders and seekers they are asking if you need your final liberation your ultimate bliss what we have to do give power to the higher what is we call give power yes, to, to a higher power higher power right? you know higher power god or whatever the different people people using different idea about it you know you know pray ask then universe will address that so then i you know this is my experience then i can see everybody talking about you know go out you know as outside out of world to bring that uh, you know the bliss for your life because i was in a college um, uh, religious uh, you know the, with all the religious leaders in uh, what is called the panels religious you know uh, interfaith panels i'm i was one panelist right we all talk about the same thing i was the last one to talk now i i was listening to all they are not wrong they all talk about those things then everybody after they talk about them then what if you want to gain that this is what you have to do you have to give that power to the outside ask outside power to bring that energy to yourself then my i am the last panelist then i said i all you know all you did so beautiful but i disagree with that i don't know how much they like it <laughs> but i have you know you know honestly i have to speak speak honestly i said all the things you said so beautiful one thing i am not agree with so what my analogy what buddha did after we all go together to the end buddha make the big u turn <laughs> you know buddha make a whole big u turn is a huge one people hate that u turn people hate that u turn why we all want to go to the same path same rhythm with whole world why that's what world is believing what other people do but making that huge big u turn is most challenging one why world is not appreciating it but anyway buddha did it when he make that big u turn everybody hate it but anyway we did you know he did it i love that u turn now i'm asking you today this morning are you ready to make the u turn i'm asking hmm every day every day are you ready yes, yes good are you ready i think so oh. <laughs> 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 huh Huh? yeah waiting for that means i am asking you are you ready to go inward another way are you ready to go inward not go outward so it, it, it's not it's not waiting for the future right okay now. yeah exactly in, in this in this form i may never i, I will never like i will never make it to the point of future uh huh I, I yeah but it, you know what i'm asking is but, I, but i'm acting now mm-hmm. knowing mm-hmm. that it is perfect it is on me 
yeah i think okay i think that's what i want to see in people what you are talking about okay what we are doing now that's what i want to see that's perfect what we are doing but many people because almost 200 days i'm going around the world and listen to people and talk to people always people think i will give it to them Bhante will come to Arizona, that means he is giving, uh, we are waiting for you to get it. That means a big job for me, right, to fulfill their wish. So now I am, you know, I can tell, you know, I'm, I really like what you said. Some people, like you, what you said, some people already there, n nothing to make the U-turn for them. Okay, but some people still keep moving with that endless journey, thinking there is somewhere in that freedom and happiness or whatever word you want to use for the containment. So I am asking, if you are continuously walking this direction and finally after we go and get tired and exhausted, then we have to think, no, now what you have to do after you get tired and exhausted as the outside power to give it to you. Never happen. Then you get more exhausted. Now I am asking what he said. Right now, this moment, you have to see, or do you have to turn? Right after you turn, you are there. You are in the right path, right direction, right practice. Even I don't have nothing to do after that. I am useless for you after that. I don't need to be here after that. No need to think about me after that. No need to have the Buddha after that. No need to read books after that. Even no need to meditate after that. Why? You are there already. Okay? So, to get it, to, so to get it, this is what most important thing you have to focus on. You know, so we talk about loving kindness, compassion. That's why I said, those are wonderful qualities. Please keep doing whatever, you know, that we practiced last 17 years, what I said, what all the monastics said, keep doing it. But I think we have to go to another level of our awareness practice, another level of our mindfulness, another level of our spiritual journey. We have to go to the next step. You know, I don't like to use the steps, but I don't have any words to say. So, it's a mental um, state, okay? It's a mental state. So, do, when you are looking at this world, what do you see? When you look around every day, now as a good practitioner, I am asking, you are, I, I consider you are good practitioners. As a good practitioners, what do you see in this world every single day? Opportunities for good. Okay, opportunities for good. Suffering. Suffering and pain. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, okay, wonderful. Okay, good. Anything? Huh? Searching. searching. Okay, okay. Change. Yes, well, who said that? Change. You see the change. Okay. So there's hatred and fear. Okay, hatred and fear. Yeah. Art. Huh? Art. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Nature. Nature. Okay. So, all those things, what you said. Can you put into what she said? Yeah? She said change. All those things you said, those are wonderful. Can we put into that basket everything? Yes, right? That, that means what is the world? What is happening in the world? Continuously changing. Continuously changing. Changes. Do you like those changes? Sometimes you do like, if it is comforting to you. You like changes, those changes bring you comfort to you. But most of the time, most of the changes, what brings it to you? Challenge. Challenge. Stress. Stress. Fear. Fear. <clears throat> what else? Yes, perfectly said. You know, I, you said everything is right. 
So if everything is keep changing, it brings you what? Discomfort. It's not comforting. But if things are changing where you like, it's comforting. That's a different story. But most of the things are changing all the time in life. It is discomforting. In the Buddhist teaching, in the Pali language, there's a word. What is the word? Yeah, first one is the anicca. Anicca means impermanence. The second one? Oh yeah, Bhikkhuni said that. <laughs> Dukkha. Dukkha. So, I can see the common translation. What is Bhikkhuni? It's a common translation every day people say? Oh, that it means suffering. Suffering. Do you like that? I don't think so. I love the word discomfort. Right? More than suffering. Oh, I'm suffering from my knee pain. But, you know, I can see, um, you know, I learn it too, learning the language. Suffering has a little bit negative connotation to people. Is it right? Yes, yeah, suffering has a little bit negative connotation. Discomfort? <laughs> discomfort kind of acceptable. <laughs> you know, okay, discomfort, right? You know, some. So, now th those two things, in theory, maybe you understand. In theory, maybe you understand. Maybe some people, in practice, you understand. How about you now, or all those two things? In theory you understand, or in practice you understand? Huh? Yes, that's my, yeah, okay, if you can do that, okay? Right, that's great, right? Yeah, so now I'm asking you, do you understand it as a theory? Oh, you understand in a practical level. Well, I understand it's, it's an intellectual concept. Okay, very good. Then you, then you have to turn it into an emotional feeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then you have to turn it into an action plan. Mm -hmm. That is very difficult. Yeah. So, coming to the temple, doing meditation, doing all those things, every day, last 17 years, whatever years you are practicing meditation, I think that's what we have to focus on. That two things. Now I'm asking, I'm going to make you very confused after this. <laughs> okay, now I'm asking, I can see, I feel the first sermon of the Buddha. First sermon of the Buddha for five monks. His five friends. After he enlightened, you know, he took the middle path it's a whole long story. I just, you know, he took the middle path. He left. He's giving, you know, two extremes. He, he had the one extreme in the palace. He was in another extreme in the being in the wood and the forest and giving uh, self-denial, giving pain to his body. One day he realized, because that self-denial self things everybody's doing in the Indian society that time for spiritual salvation. He did the same thing. That five monks also that time joined with him and did the same thing. One day he realized, he realized, this is annoying. <laughs> Other one, this is BS, if I say that, you know. <laughs> I'm very sorry to say that, you know, in, in front of people, but it, it makes more sense to you. So then he said, I don't want to follow this. Because my name also, my initial also BS, Bhante Sujata. <laughs> And so, then what, you know, he did, he left that journey too. He gave it up. Right after he gave up, he, that means he made the U-turn. Right after he made that U-turn, what happened to those five monks? They were so mad. Why? Whatever they were believing, he going opposite direction. What they did, they left him. But anyway, trusting his gut feeling, Prince Siddhartha, you know, Siddhartha, ascetic Siddhartha, he just followed his path. However, he found, he attained to what we call the Nirvana or Nibbana or enlightenment. Then he was thinking, to whom I am going to tell this? Then he was thinking about three teachers, they already gone. Then he was thinking, looking for my five friends. 
years, still they are living in, in India, you know, that area. So he returned and looking for those people. Then they saw he is coming. Then he said, okay, Siddhartha is a failure. Now he just failed. Now he is coming when, you know, don't respect him. <laughs> they were told, that's the, that story representing whole world. Then he returned. When he come in, because of his powerful personality, they cannot stand with their deal. The, they respect him, they accept him, then they were sitting with them and discuss. Then Buddha start to talk to them about what I'm telling you today, the first two things. Now, all night, <laughs> all night, they didn't, you know, talk, 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 talk. He can do some miracles too, but he didn't. He just talked. But these five monks, they didn't understand at all. Now how exhausting that? All night. Then end of the night, early morning. So he said, I think four monks, just leave. <laughs> Don't stay here. Go and get some food. Here we go house to house to get the food. They left. Then he separated one monk. It's called the Asaji, not this one. <laughs> Right? His, huh? Kondanja, you know, not Kondanja, Kondanja, you know, I'm very sorry, Kondanja. So that, you know, he start to talk to this monk. Talk, 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 talk. Then finally, he received the message. Then he said, oh my God, you know, I'm just translating it, his feeling, his secret. Finally, he got it. <laughs> he was, yay, extremely happy he got it. So, teaching this to somebody, it was challenging for the Buddha. But anyway, today I am trying for the next part. I am trying. But this seed, what I am trying today, may be another eons, <laughs> another millions of years later, maybe it will be beneficial to you. That's what I am talking. But I am not having any expectation today, this morning, perfectly you are going to get it. No idea at all. No expectation about that. But I'm believing maybe many millions of years later, if you exist, somewhere in this existence, it will be beneficial to you this beginning. The, so, now first two, uh, two things, impermanence. Because if everything is impermanent, changing, it is not fun, it is discomfort. Why we are having discomfort? Because of what? Huh? Expectation. Expectation, very good. Attachment. You want to be different? Huh? Grasping. Grasping. Okay. Who do, who does that? I'm asking those things what you said. Yes, Julie. Who does that? I do. I do. Now that's the solution we are looking for now. If you want to attend to the enlightenment, this is the one you have to dig. Okay? Now I am asking you, what is that I? Then I found another new English word for that. I love that. It's called the impersonality. Okay? In you know, instability, discomfort and impersonality. Bhikkhuni, please uh, tell me, you know, you are English teacher too. And so, when you hear the impersonality, I, learned the, I want to learn more about the word. Uh, everybody, how do you hear about the word impersonality? Not you. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I... When I see that, I don't know depth in your language. When I see that... I, I had some sparks in my head. Oh my God, I love this word. <laughs> right? I don't know. It's, I felt something deep in, inside me when I see that word. That's why I'm looking for more, you know, how you understand that. What is that mean? Believing something exists. Believing something exists. Who is believing something? What we are believing something exists? Believing something exists, which we call... I. So how we make this I? 
we have senses okay we have senses using our senses what we do sensing okay that's what it, when you have eyes you see when you have ears you hear now you know with other senses so now think about when you see now now you are coming to the temple in the morning very excited you know young ladies you walk into the building or oh, young men <laughs> or oh, any men any, any ladies you see a beautiful man walking into the building when you see that being honest how do you see what do you think oh my god he is so handsome <laughs> you know i'm telling you i will if you want to read that i i want to show you if you want to see that one girl sent me an email yesterday or day before yesterday oh bante i think you can i know you are living in america your way you are thinking as a monk is totally different i think i can talk to you about this i saw a very handsome monk Oh Bhante you know it's so funny she, way she write that email oh Bhante that monk i never seen such a beautiful person if i can have him i will give up everything <laughs> i will go i will go i will go i don't know i go to the listen to his talk he's a great preacher he's giving a gift. i go and listen to him but i don't listen I don't listen I just look at him Bhante I don't know is there any way there's a way to get him <laughs> I said go and ask him <laughs> So anyway I wrote a letter to her and she's handling that so it's a whole another story actually um it's so you know I showed it to one of my other friend and we were laughing about this the way she was wrote So now think about it. she saw somebody beautiful maybe that person that lady that girl she thinks he is beautiful handsome but maybe another person maybe another person see the same person it's not a big deal it's not handsome at all then another person see another person is handsome that means whatever you see whatever you hear whatever you Inter internalize, internalize, right? Internalize is totally personal. It's a totally condition. It's totally up to you. In somebody, <laughs> somebody come to you and say, "You are so beautiful." Don't get excited. somebody come to you and say you are the most terrible person don't feel bad why one person said i am the most unkind monk i ever met he said that over the phone is a whole story then one day <coughs> like today morning i am teaching meditation saturday morning i can see right here that person is sitting next week then he came to me and said i bante i'm very sorry what i said i said not a big deal <laughs> why both wrong you know whatever the statement he said both wrong that's his problem it makes sense so now i'm asking whatever you hear whatever you see you internalize after you internalize what will happen you put the labels that is mine that is i my and mine i my and mine right after you do that here you go <laughs> all the problems are there i try my best to explain this concept now i am asking you today first two things however you can get it but the last one is very challenging for people to accept don't accept keep it right now in your back of your head so whatever you see internalize 
then you put label I, my, and mine, then it's become my problem. If you can stop from there, what you see, just see. Merely see. What a, whatever you hear, merely you hear it. You are not making a story out of it. Otherwise, we have a syndrome I call I, my, mind syndrome. When we have that syndrome, all the problems come. So then, after that, I have my husband. I have my wife. I have my children. I have my car. I have my temple. Which is okay, but don't attach to it. I think, now in the modern world, I can see a word, people always using vipassana meditation. Do you know that? Vipassana meditation is very big selling now. Very expensive vipassana meditation. Very expensive <laughs> vipassana meditation sometimes. And so, you know, whatever I said to today, whatever I explained to you today, this morning, that is vipassana. That is vipassana meditation. Nothing much to do. Please understand those three things. What are those three things? Instability. If things are instability, it will bring you what? Discomfort. Then what happened? Bring attachment. Then you put I and I, my and mine into it. It's become a whole big story after that. I'm asking, after you understand main two things, don't do that the third thing, you know, be aware about your five senses or six senses, whatever senses. Be aware, but then don't bring internalize and bring all those stories. Make your life crazy. It is so challenging, so painful, so disappointing, so sad, effect into your daily sleep. Effect into every area of your life after that. Is it confusing? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Please take this message into your life today. Any questions? I just want to say it's not a question really, but you know, like living in the world is kind of like constantly then putting your foot in the stream, taking your foot out. You know, you're dealing with people, you're going inward, you're taking these concepts, and then you go and you live your life. And it's, I think sometimes you can bring that with you, but when you're dealing with other, other people, sometimes it's just. So I totally understand. That's what Bill, I am struggling with every single day. Okay, I'm telling you. Then my, my question is, is there any other place to go? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you know, there is an answer. There is no any other place. You know, because, you know, remember one of our students who learned from here? I met this man in uh, Maui Island in Hawaii. When I'm ready to teach, oh my God, he's here. Hey, Bhante, how are you doing? I said, what? <laughs> What are you doing here? I, Bhante, I came to Mavi. I don't like Woodstock. <laughs> he said, I don't like Woodstock. I said, me too. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. No, I don't like the snow. That's what I said. And so then I asked, why you don't like Woodstock? Then he talked about all his addicts and all those problems. Then somebody said, Mavi Island is a healing island. I thought better to go move into the Mavi. Now I'm two years here, Bande. And so then I asked, I don't know, I asked funny question. I asked, are you healed? <laughs> then he said, not at all. <laughs> not at all. That beautiful, like a heaven kind of feeling, beautiful island, there's no healing for him. That means the place is right here, right now. You know, what you said, Phil. You know, the, this place right here, wherever you are, but please bring that deep wisdom into life experience wherever you are. While you are painting, <laughs> you know, you can experience that. While we are with your family, you can experience that. That your internal experience, no need to even give it out. If you want to, you can. That's what I'm trying. You know, it's optional. Anything? Mm -hmm. um, can I just ask a question? Mm -hmm. talking about that you not only walk the path, but you have to build your path with intentional 
action? Yeah, you, you, that's your own journey. You have to do it. it created. Yeah, yeah, it's totally up to you. Yeah. Okay, I think, you know, t- today um, you learned something beautiful. And so, as uh, 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 beautiful and stressful, <laughs> and and same time. So, but as I said, you know, maybe you have to go with this practice many eons, eons, right? That's the word, many eons. <laughs> but still worth, still worth it for you. Okay. So, thank you so much. If you have any question, uh, please ask me. So. So before he uh, do the announcements, now I have to go to the real world, what Bill said, okay? So this is my business part of the temple. Uh, first thing, you know, the big taste of Sri Lanka is coming, okay? Now please bring your mind to the different state of awareness, okay? And, uh, and see how I'm switching my mind, right? But still practice is there, okay? Uh, so the big taste of Sri Lanka is coming. So please consider get your ticket as soon as possible. We had to do the head counts, and so it's easy for after all the preparation because we have two more weeks, right? Two more weeks, and so already we, you know, this year I don't know we sold the 70 tickets. You know, we are planning for 200, and so you know that's how you know every year we do. So please consider that. Go and talk to your friends. I think that's the biggest annual fundraiser for this place to keep heat and you know functioning so your help is very important to us right maybe you cannot come but you can talk to your family and friends and you know promoting this event and also uh, may our annual buddha day celebration is coming so i think our 17th year i think right 17th year the you know, so so we are doing this booklet there are lots of good articles you know the teaching so this we are making like lots of booklets is going around lot and when I'm traveling I take around and so sharing with the people that's another way to share our loving kindness to people from this little uh, uh, city Woodstock and so I am looking for 20 ads to cover the cost of the books okay to print this book so you can see there is a little ads, big ads, you know, diff- different prices. Uh, so I'm asking if you have a business, uh, if you want to do your, like an ad from your family or in memory of your departed one. And so there are, you know, for your birthday and even you can do an ad, you know, hey, I'm celebrating my birthday <laughs> and supporting to the temple same time. So there are so many ways for you to help the temple. So I really need some volunteers. I'm asking last night, I made the post on the Facebook. I'm looking for some volunteers for some other works I want to share at the temple. So I have all the information, add information in this paper. I can give it to you if you need one. Please consider that. Uh, before April 1st, I need to collect all the ads to consider this booklet. Okay, so I'm really appreciating that.